so it is now a decent smidge after the original release of the game because I was waiting for my collector's edition to arrive. We already showcased the demo, so we already kind of started the playthrough a little bit early since the demo save file transfers over to the full game. The collector's edition took a little while to come in. I also encountered some shipping difficulties figuring out where the heck my package was. I got it. It is huge. It's massive. It's look at this. It's aha. <laughs> so, you know, this is probably one of, if not the biggest collector's edition I've ever received. It is also the, wow, my camera doesn't focus in anymore. It is also the most expensive collector's edition I've ever bought. This, I bought it off the Square Enix store, at least unlike Nintendo's collector's editions, you know, didn't have to worry about this selling out like immediately, you know, was able to get this no problemo. Um, but my goodness gracious, I, uh, this was, <laughs> this was $230 USD, not even Canadian, that's USD. And then when I went and picked this up from Canada Post, they charged me like another 22 bucks for some like importing fee thing where Bob. So, you know, I do like getting collector's editions for things, but if I wasn't a content creator, if, you know, the channel revenue wasn't the thing paying for this, I would not have bought this, like, no chance, you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> so, most expensive collector's edition I've ever bought, let's see, uh, let's see exactly what's going on inside it, we're gonna need some music, though, to go with it, so I'm gonna choose, uh, for our music to listen to this, we're gonna go with TPR's Melancholy Tribute to Octopath Traveler, let's get some, uh, let's get some chill Octopath Traveler remixes here, so, the game came, uh, you know, the game was shipped together with it, but it's like a separate thing. It's not like a Nintendo Collection Edition where it's in there. I guess because they have these available for, you know, each of the different versions. Still a little bit of plastic that I missed there. Um, music's a little bit loud. I'm going to turn it down a smidge here. Is what I'm going to do. This is first Octopath Traveler main theme. Is what this is. Oh, speaking of Octopath Traveler music, I have been tuning into the OST of Octopath 2 since it came out. But Square Enix recently took it all down. So, hopefully it's not like the Live Alive playthrough where I need to worry about you know <laughs> copyright issues with square enix i mean to be fair the level live situation was like a whole nother level there was the uh, case but i hope things are going well today and my chaos and mortis and stuff and i'm glad that you enjoyed that stuff with destiny and stuff shadow of the earth tree yeah so i guess we're gonna be going back to elden ring also look how this opens so it's from the side there. oh yeah maybe i should showcase like the sides and stuff first because uh i mean if i show this here i guess i need to show it yeah the way that i'm uh the way that I'm facing. Here's this in a little bit better. This is as far back as it goes. It's hitting my monitor here. Um, it, we have the uh, art of the characters on the side there. Whoa. Which, again, I need to hold it the way I'm facing because I flip my camera. Whoops. So we have something like that. There's the reflection of my green lights and stuff. Um, yeah, we have that on both the sides. All right. I don't think I have space on my shelves anywhere for this. So I don't know where the heck I'm going to put this. But uh, it opens something like this like all the way across and then at the very top we have the ost first and foremost extended battle track so do i just oh, i'm a little bit nervous about taking it out but i assume i just like okay something like that here we go octopath traveler extended battle tracks is the case oh and it shows it like both ways i guess okay well neat i uh i have scissors here so you know let me just go ahead and say... It doesn't really... Wait, which way does it open then? Because usually you'd have on the side that the CD opens like a little bit of space. And I guess there is, but not really a lot. So I don't really want to scratch the thing, Bob. I could just try taking it off with, you know, get in there with my nails in the corners is what I can try my best to do. But it might be easier said than done. Oh, crap. Anyway, what's, uh, what's on here? So it shows the... Uh, you know the Japanese name first, and then the English name underneath. When it comes to uh, when it comes to these, there's the there's the Kates. Yeah, I uh, how the heck? I could have pre-opened something like this. I took the plastic off of the initial box set that it was surrounded in, but I didn't think about doing something like that for this because I was like, yeah, let's just you know hop on in and see what happens when I end up opening it on stream. And I'm starting to get a little bit of a start now, but it's easier said than done because this is really not super great oh come on well, i could use i could use my pliers that i've been using to uh get drippy plastic out of my 3d printer uh oh i'm starting to there we go i've gotta start now yeah 
just put the plastic like back here for now or something. Aha! Aha! I did it! I did the thing. I don't have a disk drive on my computer, so like I'll figure out what the heck is going on here. Special edition scissors. Yeah, that's what it totally is there. Get that from GameStop. I got it from Square Enix's site. It's the only place that you could uh, get it from, I believe. But yeah, there it is. Octopath Traveler 2 Extended Battle Tracks, which I can listen to since they took down the uh, took down the OST online there. It feels like, uh, okay. At first I was like, is there multiple discs in there? No, it's just a, just a semi-thick disc there is all it is. But yeah, it's a nice looking CD. That's uh, what that looks like. I don't think my camera would ever focus in enough to show like the full details or anything like that. But yeah, this is uh, if it focuses something like that with the green reflections and stuff. Okay, so I mean, I can put this like here or something like that in our setup. So we have Kirby's Return to Dream on Deluxe, Metroid Primary Master, Octopath Traveler 2 that all just released around the exact same time. So there's that. And then, yeah, this comes out that was holding uh, just the music CD and I'll just chuck it over there for now. This is the really big thing here. These are bigger than I thought they would be. Um, these are little statue thingamabobs of each of the eight travelers and I thought they would be a lot smaller when I ordered this. This is, oh my goodness. Yeah, this is, um, yeah. Wow, there's a whole bunch of stuff on the back. Caution, product contains a functional sharp edges or points. Caution, read the following information thoroughly before use. This product contains small parts which may be choking hazards, yada yada. Advertisement, Vorsicht. Whoa, the uh, third option that they have here is in German. Bitte lesen Sie vor der Verwendung dieses Produkts die folgenden Informationen sorgfältig. Um, yeah, I, uh, normally I unbox, like, everything. I'm almost tempted to leave this in the box just because, like, it's freaking massive. These things are big. I don't know where I put them up, you know? I'm not entirely sure where. You can't even see it that well because of the reflection of this monitor. If I temporarily turn off this monitor... So you can maybe see it a little bit better. Yeah, these uh, these are big, you know. So uh, so yeah, kind of. You hope Eldering won't get DLC as it doesn't need to. Oh wow, that collection edition is beautiful. Yeah, there's a lot going on with it. Uh, maybe I'll uh, hold on. If I put this uh, on the floor back here for a hot second, we'll have a look there again later. Let me turn that. Okay, the monitor is coming back on. Yeah, let's see here. I can always keep them in the box later. Put them back in. Screw it. Wah. I don't really keep much sealed anyway. The occasional amiibo, Xenoblade 1 on the Wii. Apart from that. Wah. Not too much there. Wah. All right, let's see here. So in terms of these, which, yeah, I don't really have the best place for them, so I might just put them back in the box afterwards. This, uh, come on. Oh, that just opens up at the side, I guess. Ah, ha. Oh, and I guess that's the, uh, the map of the region back there is what that is of the world of Octopath 2. Also, I barely hear any music. Is it still playing? Okay, it's just kind of quiet. Let's go on to uh, the next theme. How about? So we do skip ahead a little bit. So what the heck is going on here? How do I? Oh, like this? I take it off. Is it taped? It's taped on. So if I just take off the tape and put that in my trash can here, and then there's tape on the other side here. Ah, come on. Whoa, there we go. Now it should be able to open up, I think. Probably. Is it taped here too? It's taped on all four sides. My goodness. Okay, off comes the tape. And then the last piece of tape is here. And now it should come off after I take that off there. There we go. Let's see here. So, meh. Get the four corner. Oh, there we go. Something like that. And then, if we do that, these are the, uh, these are eight characters, our eight travelers here in this octopath. Okay, so you can just take them out like that. Let's see here. Well, because I haven't started playing the game yet, apart from the uh, apart from the demo, 
I don't know all the characters' names off the top of my head right now. <laughs> so, won't be able to say them out here exactly. But yeah, definitely decently larger than I was expecting. Maybe I should actually have them facing upwards so you can see them here? I don't know. What? Let's just dump this all on my lap right now and stuff. Um, and just go through showing them and stuff. Okay, so the camera's there. If it focuses it. My camera's typically not very good at focusing when it comes to uh, things up close. So, I mean, you know. Oh, a little bit of a... Uh, that moves a little bit there. I appreciate the follow there, Brush Stone. Yeah, so... There's, here's the traveler that we started out our journey with, Hikari. Hikari, yeah. A little bit fragile on the hair there, it seems like. So you want to be careful about that. Um, I believe you're the new thief character that we have here. Yeah, so we'll go through them. They're kind of missing their arms, which I guess, you know, makes sense for these kinds of things. Here's our new scholar. There's Oswald, if I recall his name. The one who's in search of revenge. Oh, look how serious and gruff he looks. There's that. We have our new merchant here. Yeah, it's Elvis 2.0. <laughs> this bus needs a big bus. I mean, it's what, her, uh, it's what her character in the game basically is. So, uh, yeah. The bust on the bust. Will it focus in if I move them closer? Meh, not all that well. And you get the... Should I... We get the slight green reflection, so, uh... Would that make it easier to, uh, see details and stuff? Maybe, when there's not a green reflection? I don't know, man. I could also turn the light up. Like, the... The light behind the, uh, thing where... Ah, it's bright! Does that make it easier to see? Is that... Maybe not. Okay, well, that's a little bit bright. We can turn it down to, like here which is still brighter than i usually have it you know so yeah we have the next traveler that we're going to recruit my camera really does not focus in when it comes to finer details it sucks to suck i guess um oh you don't really stay upright all the way. well i guess if they're placed like this they stay upright just fine but uh but you know all right we have our new cleric here apparently there's some spicy stuff that goes on with his tail from what i've heard so we'll see what happens when we get to you and finally we have the dancer the new dancer unit, who's a lot less hellbent on revenge than Primrose, it seems like. Yeah, my camera does not focus in all that well. So, you know, tis what it is. Um, if I put them back in here later, I'll figure out exactly how I'll do it. For now, I'll just put the plastic on the plastic and put the plastic in the box. Just to organize things a little bit better here is what we do. My favorite character I had, what, in terms of Octopath here? I've I've only introduced myself to two thus far. Because we haven't, you know, started all that much of the playthrough yet. Because we just did the demo, so I don't even know all their names yet. <laughs> is, the, uh, is the case. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna put this, like, uh, back here for now. I'll figure out uh, what I'm doing with everything there later. And then... Oh, crap. Maybe, uh... Then we just say, I don't know, place them around here. Speck of something there. Maybe our eight travelers can just chill here or something or other. I don't know. Something like this ish? Maybe? Just a. Uh, Stack them around here. There we go. Kind of stagger them a little bit. Like, um... You can barely even see it on the camera anyway, but, you know. Sure. Something like that. There's our, uh, there's our eight travelers that are there. Now, there's one more, uh... I forgot to lock my phone there. Don't want the screen to die. There's one more thing. Ah! One more thing in this crazy box, and that is the Octopath 2 art album here. Which is right here, and that's sealed. Alright, I can, uh... Hopefully this doesn't get too in the way of my doogie when she comes down here later. Uh... I mean, I could always... Also for decor, have in the background say... Ah, oh, crap. You only see, like, the top of it there. <laughs> is the, uh, is the case. Um, any way that I can elevate it here... Slightly, that's gonna fall over. I have no doubt about that. <laughs> Look at my freaking 
recent gaming stuffs here. All right, well, yeah, let's see here. Probably not. Most likely not the case. Make a very careful incision, if I can. There we go, should be a small hole that I made, which I should now be able to uh, enlarge in. If I just get my thumbnail under there, there we go. There we have it. And then I can take the plastic off. Ah. Okay. Like this. There we go. Octopath Traveler 2 art album. Let's have a little bit of a look-see at what exactly is going on here. That's about as far as my keyboard moves over. Put my phone back in my pocket so it's out of the way. All right, let's have a look-see here. Ooh, that new... Did my microphone pick that up? That new page-turning sound? Book that's never been opened before? That's just... Okay, that's really thick there. That's all that is. Yeah, look at that. So if... Whoops. I turn it like this. There we go. There's the, uh, there's the key art extending far into the sky there. All right. Let's have a... Oh, you can tell that the pages have never been turned before. It feels like there's two pages, but the pages are just really thick. Oh, because it's probably all stuff like this then, is what it might all be, is all of the key character art. And it's not like a, uh, not like a Nintendo kind of special edition. Yeah, these are just really thick pages, is all it is. Yeah, so then there's his nighttime field skill, is the case. So yeah, I guess that's all it, uh, that's all it goes through, is just a really high quality version of each of these, uh, each of these arts is the case. Yeah, I keep thinking that there's multiple pages, but it's just really thick is all it is. That's certainly something, huh? Yeah, so I guess we go through our travelers here. Like that. But yeah, so I guess it's kind of like a vertical book then, you could say there. You mean for like the first game? I did not, if there was one for the first game. Also, the first game came out when I was still a very new content creator was the case. Decent while back, my uh, my Octopath Traveler 1 series is probably pretty cringy to look back at nowadays. Most likely. But yeah, I have all these arts saved on my computer already to potentially use in thumbnails throughout the series. <laughs> is, the, uh, is the case. I'm already prepared. And yeah, I've seen all the thing where Bob's, but yeah, we have them in super high quality here. A vertical art book, huh? It would seem. With all the, uh, with all the key art. So I think we should be through all the travelers now, right? Should be the case. Oh, no. I, uh, I think I'm just used to seeing Temenos as, like, the last one on the website where I was saving them from. So, uh, that's why I thought that. That would be the reason why. All right, yeah. Just the order is a little bit different here. Is all it is. I gotcha. It all makes sense now. So this is like the ending art, maybe, for uh, not Primrose and not Ulbrich. Maybe, is what it must be. So does everyone have like paired endings or something then? Is that what I'm getting spoiled for here? Maybe. <laughs> Might well be the case. But yeah, at least, you know, the travelers are doing more things with one another as opposed to the first game, since that was one of the chief problems with that game. It seems like it's a... Seems like this game does a lot better of a job from, you know, the bits and pieces that I've seen. And if they have paired endings and stuff, wah. And then here's the region map, covering like all the way to the ends of the pages, seems like. And then yeah, there's that. That was Octopath Traveler 2 art book. You know, so not as many like develop, it's not kind of like a Nintendo art book, it seems like where it shows development kind of models and uh, art drawings, more of just like, here's all the official art, done at, you know, really high quality there. All right, let me uh turn down this light to what I normally have it at, which is that. Then I can uh, turn the green room lights back on. Like that. I've forgotten to turn it on for some streams before. Let's get our let's get our green and stuff. I don't think there's anywhere good that I can set this up and you won't even be able to tell unless you read the text what it is anyway. So, for now, I'm just going to put it on top of my uh Zelda guidebook treasure chest on this shelf here is what I'll do. Yeah, that might fall. It's kind of balancing on a Switch game case right now, but hey, whatever, you know, is the uh, <laughs> is the case. 
All right, so I think we uh, I think we did the thing. Yeah, so doesn't take super long to go through. I have the uh, I have the thing we're about to blow it up. All right, did I tap another? I tapped two controls. This one is even connected. When did I tap two controllers? When did that happen? Okay, it must have been on the shelf somewhere. Oh, and my GameCube controller when I uh, turned off the monitor would be the uh, USB one. I gotcha. Yeah, I'll just use this for now. All right, I can move my keyboard back to where it goes. I can switch my input on over and we can get back to playing some Octopath Traveler 2 properly. Go ahead and pause that. Yeah, let's play some more of the video game now. That sounds like a good idea, right? <laughs> and I think I use this layout, if I recall.